Mixing performance and style in a cruiser-esque fashion, Arch Motorcycles has been putting out some heavy hitters. Featuring SNS power plants, BST carbon fiber wheels, and Olin suspension, these bikes kind of have it all. They definitely fit the market right now, especially among the likes of the Buell Super Cruiser, the Harley Lowrider ST, and the Indian Sport Jeep. The styling is kind of Harley, kind of Ducati with the American power plant and that sleek Italian style. I mean, what more could you really ask for? Performance, lightweight, great suspension, and the bikes really do have it all. Especially with the whole performance cruiser era that we're in right now, I think it really fits the among the American mark. But why aren't we hearing about this company Arch Motorcycles? They seem relatively unknown. What's the catch? Well, to be honest with you, it's probably the fact that the starting price for their cheapest models around 85 grand. Start out. That's no additions, that's no taxes, fees, nothing. That's starting out base price is about 85 grand. They're definitely beautiful bikes and they're handmade for each customer. But you already know when a company starts throwing around words like bespoke, you're about to pay out the nose for this shit. It ain't gonna be cheap. They got three different bikes right now. The KR GT1, the 1S, and the Method 143. Each one has their own unique styling and characteristics about them. And there's something to like about each one. The KR GT1 starts at 85 grand. The 1S starts at 128,000. And the Method 143, they don't even list the price for. It. Now, none of these bikes are a cookie cutter production bike, especially when it comes to the Method 143. They plan on only producing 23 of the Method 143s. It definitely makes the method 143 more of a collector's item and kind of like a curator's piece i guess you could say overall i think keanu's definitely done a great job styling a bike and picking the right parts and pieces to put on a performance bike you definitely get the styling from ducati you get a lot of design choices from harley and you get performance aspects among the likes of moto gp bike done a great job building some amazing motorcycles out truly art on wheels i just can't get over the price i mean it makes it unattainable for guys like me and you who want that performance aspect and that styling and kind of makes it easier to pick a bike like this than you know trying to pick between a Ducati and a Harley. I definitely like seeing this type of work out in the motorcycle community but to be honest with you we'll probably never go on a ride with one of these things at least in my area and I'll never see one at a bike night because they're just so unique and hard to get. If your question is if I would buy one yeah but I'm broke as fuck. Anyways, this wraps this up. If you liked the video, drop a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. If you don't like the video, then sorry. Anyway, see y'all in the next one.